Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the matched filter with non-white noise. So till now, we have considered the frequency response of the matched filter as H of F is equal to. So what is that? See, this entire matched filter concept is completely related to that frequency response H of F. So frequency response of frequency response of matched filter frequency response of the matched filter we know how much h of f is equal to g a s star of f exponential of minus j 2 pi f t 1 okay this is the frequency response of the matched filter if you observe this frequency response, there is no noise component involved. Okay. Generally, we should include a noise component in the matched filter frequency response because we don't know how much noise exactly it is present over the network in the matched filter. So, but unknowingly, we have added a noise to this matched filter frequency response, which is known as white noise okay we have not shown the value of the white noise in the expression but it is having the white noise inside the h of f okay uh, suppose if you multiply with one by one it will not affect the equation okay so the noise for this suppose consider this as n naught n naught is suppose consider the noise as n this n is the white noise n refers to white noise white noise even if you add in the expression or delete in the expression it will not affect the entire equation because white noise has a uniform spectral density okay and the noise added in this the noise <coughs> which has been added to the H of F, the noise which has been added to the H of F is a white noise, is a white noise. That means noise component is there, but it is not shown with the expression because white noise has uniform spectral density. So N is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 that means if you draw the frequency response characteristics of this white noise this is the frequency on x axis and on y axis you are having the noise spectrum like n so it is having uniform spectral density like this up to 100 kilohertz up to 100 kilohertz from minimum of 100 hertz so from minimum to maximum frequency the noise of this white noise exhibits a value unity so it is having uniform spectral density and its value is unity for throughout the frequencies from 100 hertz to 100 kilohertz because of that the even if you want to display this n in the expression it will not affect the overall frequency response of the matched filter that is the reason why we have not shown the noise in the matched filter suppose if the case is not like this that means if the non white noise is being added white noise is not added okay why we are taking always white noise it means this is the reason as it is having a uniform spectral density suppose consider we have not added the white noise and a non white noise component is being added consider a non white noise is added to our frequency response of matched filter frequency response of the matched filter then what happens will it behave like a matched filter what is the matched filter 
what is the purpose of matched filter what is the name meaning of this matched filter matched filter is nothing but it is the network which improves that has to improve the peak signal to mean noise ratio okay so this condition is true for white noise remember the matched filter is a network which improves the peak signal to mean noise ratio but when it is having a white noise suppose if it is having a non white noise definitely this matched filter may not be work as it is as a proper matched filter okay then it becomes a non matched filter okay so for non white noise matched filter also becomes a non matched filter okay so what is the ratio that it has to maximize we know that the ratio uh, the matched filter is a network which maximizes the peak signal to peak signal to mean noise ratio peak signal to mean noise ratio rf okay but with non white noise but with non white noise the matched filter becomes a non matched filter matched filter becomes non matched filter because its characteristics are different how these characteristics are different so for non white noise uh, consider a non white noise consider a non white noise with frequency response as n i of f n i of f square so the magnitude of this uh, what is this non white noise we are considering it as n i of f that is mod square now add this expression n i of f in the original frequency response so the frequency response of matched filter frequency response of matched filter h of f is equal to where we need to add this n i of f that means do we need to add with plus or do we need to multiply with the original frequency response that means what is the original frequency response g a s star of f exponential of minus j 2 pi f t 1 where we need to how do we need to add this n i of f whole square to this expression do we multiply or divide or making plus or minus the noise component should always reduce the original factor no, noise component should always reduce the original value okay it's like error it's like error so when you want to add this noise to the original frequency response what we are going to measure it should be subtracted from the original value original value minus noise is the result but here we are showing all the factors in terms of decibels so definitely you should represent in the denominator we should represent it in the denominator suppose if it is not a decibel value then frequency responses here we are taking in decibels suppose if all the values are normal values then you can directly subtract the noise component like minus n i of f okay so at as all these values are in decibels you have to divide this because all these are logarithmic values so log a by b log a minus log b then it becomes normal value okay so this is the frequency response of the matched filter with a non white noise remember this expression is applied for a non white noise a non white noise okay 
now how can you write this expression you can just rewrite the expression by separating the matched filter and non matched filter frequency responses as what is ni of f ni of f is nothing but it is the frequency response of the noisy component that is being added okay so you can rewrite this expression as 1 by ni of f mod into so mod na of f square we can write it as na of f into na of f two times we can write na of f g a into so take this as s of f divided by na of f whole star whole star see na of f this is na of f and this is ni star of f when you multiply the normal value with its complex conjugate then what is the result ni of f mod square because magnitude remains and phase cancels okay the ni of f normal value when it is multiplied with this uh, complex conjugate what happens phase cancel and the magnitude remains so that's the magnitude becomes square and remaining exponential of minus j 2 pi f t 1 okay so now what happens this indicates that the non-matched filter can be considered as the cascading function of two filters. Non-matched filter is nothing but it is a cascaded function of two filters. One is with this one, another one is with this one. Okay. When we are taking, when we are having a cascaded of two, like uh, C. This is first filter. And this is second filter okay this is the input and this is output so how can you write the output output is equal to cascaded frequency responses of these two that means this frequency response like uh, x of f and this is h of f so output is equal to we are writing the output frequency response is equal to x of f multiplied by h of f frequency responses of the uh, two filters multiplied by the input <coughs> this is the generally general way how to write the frequency responses into the input signal here also same if you go back to this the first h of f is equal to 1 by n i of f 1 by n i of f is nothing but here this is the frequency response we are assuming that it is a multiplication of two filters cascade of two filters so first filter is having a frequency response like a ni of f and second filter is having a frequency response like a s of f by ni of f okay so i will write here the output when non white noise is considered is a the output is a cascade of two filters cascade of two filters what are they the first filter the first filter with frequency response function with frequency response function 1 by n i of f from the equation we can observe that so what is this this acts to make the noise spectrum uniform okay or white it is sometimes called as whitening filter this filter is also known as whitening whitening filter so this makes the noise to be white the second filter is the second filter is a matched filter the second filter is nothing but a matched filter when the input is when the input is white noise and the signal spectrum is and the signal spectrum is s of f by 
Ni of f. So in the equation Ni of f square, one Ni of f we have taken out and another Ni of f we have added with, with the signal. So one Ni of f we are taking it as a whitening filter that makes the noise to be white. Another Ni of f is being added with the signal. So S of f by Ni of f is the direct available signal spectrum we are taking in that way. So that it becomes a matched filter. Okay, so I will write in the expression itself. Mm, see, the first filter is a whitening filter. Whitening filter. Second filter is a matched filter. A matched filter with the input signal. As SI of F by NI of F. Okay, so this is what the matched filter with non white noise. Okay, so when it is with white noise, if we don't have any problem directly, we can consider the same expression because white noise is having uniform spectral density. But when we consider non white noise, definitely we should, uh, we should get what is the amount of noise and what is the amount of original signal spectrum that a signal has. Okay, so then it becomes a perfect matched filter, otherwise it is a non-matched filter. Thank you.